Hey guys, here's another bump update. We're at 38 weeks on Monday. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So lately I've been doing several videos about updates on my pregnancy. So I thought I'd loop back to the original content of this channel, which is lactation specific videos. In today's video, we're going to be talking about collecting colostrum prior to giving birth, so towards the end of pregnancy. And in the video, we'll discuss how to collect it, how to store it, reasons for collecting it, and when's the best and safest time to start doing this. So if you're interested, stay tuned to the end of the video where I'll share all that juicy information with you. My name is Cassie Reyes. I am a board certified lactation consultant and a registered nurse. I'm also the co-founder of People's Lactation based in the Washington DC area. And if you need help with anything, we also do do virtual visits. So make sure to check out our website, which you can click above or I'll share a link down below. If you're new here, remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. When you hit the bell, you're going to be notified each week when I post a new video. Collecting colostrum in pregnancy can be a really cool thing. Some people are already leaking colostrum towards the end of their pregnancy, and some people will actually have to hand express or squeeze their breasts a little bit to see that colostrum. Don't worry if you're not seeing it yet either. That doesn't mean it's not there, but if you are seeing it and instead of just like letting it absorb into your bra or go to waste, um, sometimes there are reasons that a baby could need a little bit of extra colostrum after birth. Um, maybe they're having difficulty latching Maybe for some reason you two are separated briefly after birth. If they need to take baby to check them out in the nursery or in the NICU. It's great to have another source of milk besides um, the go-to, which if they're not able to directly feed at the breast or chest would in most cases, unfortunately, be formula. Um, unless you're able to pump on the spot and get more, but if you're able to collect it now ahead of time and have a little bit on hand for baby when you give birth, even better. Um, other things that could happen that might make it necessary to give baby a little extra in the beginning are things like um, jaundice, low blood sugars. Some babies are just born very large and despite feeding well at the breast or chest, may still show hunger cues, in which case, if you have a little extra colostrum pre-collected on hand, can be great for that too. So when is the best time to start collecting? This is a tricky question, and I don't wanna give medical advice on here, so I do wanna say, make sure before you start collecting that you talk to your OB and or your midwife or your care provider and make sure that it is safe for you to start doing this. Usually the recommendation is to wait until your baby is full term. So I would say 38 weeks and on um, because when we do any sort of breast, chest and nipple stimulation, it releases oxytocin and it can cause uterine contractions. So we don't wanna do it too early on because we don't want to cause premature labor. So if you, especially if you're a high risk pregnancy, definitely check in with your provider before starting any stimulation to collect colostrum during pregnancy. Okay, so once you've gotten the clear from your, your doctor or your midwife, what are the best ways to collect and store colostrum? So most people um, can just do some good hand expression. If you don't know how to do hand expression, I do have a video on that, so I'll link it up here. 
hand expression is a technique to use your hands to massage and squeeze out some milk and then you can either collect it on a spoon or in a little medicine cup or with a syringe. Uh, a syringe. This is a syringe. Um, this is a five milliliter syringe. Probably aren't going to be filling a five milliliter syringe yet during pregnancy. Some people might though. Um, they also make syringes in one milliliters and that's a little bit more realistic. What you can hope for is drops to one milliliter um, when you're expressing. You can collect it in this and you can pop it in the freezer. Make sure to write the date that you expressed it and you can put it, if you think your baby's coming pretty soon, which is always hard to tell, right? But you could put it in the fridge. It's good for up to four days in the refrigerator, but make sure that if you're not going to use it within four days, that you put it in the freezer. And you can put this in the freezer for up to six months. So even if you don't need it right away after baby's birth, you can still start your little freezer stash. Another way to express milk during pregnancy is with a breast pump. So you could use an electric pump or you could use a manual pump like this one. This is the Medela Harmony and just use it on one side and the other. Um, I will say that same as what I said with the five milliliter syringe, you're not going to see so much that it's probably going to drip down into this bottle. And in fact, if it's colostrum and it's thick and sticky, it would probably get lost in a lot of these parts on the way down. So what I would recommend doing is starting to do here. Let me get a little closer, starting to do a little pumping. We'd be starting to do a little pumping and you're probably going to see the colostrum start to collect inside this flange and it's just gonna kind of collect underneath the nipple. So instead of trying to tip forward and tip it down into the bottle, what you could do is pull this off, keep your flange nice and snug against your skin, and then take your little syringe and put it in here and just kind of collect any of the milk that has collected, milk or colostrum that has collected around your nipple by pulling back the plunger. And then you can just do that on both sides and you have a little syringe full of awesome, powerful liquid gold to give your baby if they need a little extra support in those early days. So remember a colostrum is the early milk. It is thick and sticky like honey and it is full of great antibodies, great protections for your baby. And it's kind of like their first vaccines. So any amount of colostrum you can give them is amazing. It's also the perfect balance of proteins, carbohydrates, and fats for the early days for your baby. It's specifically designed for them, depending on their gestational age and whatever medical needs they have going on, your body has specialized that food for them. So if you get the clear from your OB, if you are into that 38, 39 weeks of pregnancy, go ahead and start collecting some of that liquid gold. Um, this can also be, some people also use the pumping towards the end of pregnancy to help induce labor because of those contractions that it can cause. It's not a super, super powerful tool for inducing labor, but you can start to feel some contractions during that early pumping. So some people have used it as a tool to jumpstart labor. So I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments down below if you have tried this, if you were able to collect any colostrum at the end of your pregnancy, and if you ended up being happy that you did, did you end up needing it? Did your baby end up needing it? Um, let me know in the comments down below. And remember, 
As always, if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Would love to have you hit the bell so that you don't miss any of, any of the videos I share. And I will see you guys all next week. Have a great week. Take care, guys. Bye.